we have a question, a fairly long question uh, from Eric. I'm a 47 year old man that has always been skinny. Uh, your longevity will thank you for that. I don't really have to watch my diet, we all hate you, to avoid gaining fat, even when I'm uh, sedentary for a decade. About six months ago, I stepped on a scale and it was, and it was disturbed to see how little I weigh. I'm 5'8", and my weight has gradually trended down from the low to mid 140s in my 20s to 125. You actually, Eric, you remind me a lot of my father. I started training my weight and my strength has improved, but I'm not much heavier. I'm wondering what goals would be best for my long-term health. See, uh, gentle listeners who are not named Eric, you have to listen to what he's saying here. Um, for long-term health, we know uh, it's what I was taught by one of my former bosses. He uh, he went golfing one day, and uh, he's out with a, a guy who was 80, and the guy, he said, how do you live so long? And the guy who was 80 said, look around. You don't see any fat old guys. And that's when my old boss decided to get on the, uh, the low-carb kick and get his body weight down. Uh, in order to be healthy, active, and not frail in my 60s or 70s, should I work to get my weight up towards 140 pounds or more? Or is it sufficient to work on strength and conditioning, even if it's not a company with a significant weight gain? Well, you're 47, and after about 35, uh, you really want to focus on uh, hypertrophy, which bodybuilding, and joint mobility. You don't mention joint mobility here or anything. But yeah, we know that, we know now that, and this is, the research is, new it's fresh it seems accurate that little things like grip strength are one of the leading indicators of age um i'm to the point now in my life where i'm going to be 63 this year but that 63 is just this number that floats over there uh i measure my age by how i feel my strength levels in the weight room and my energy levels um if i didn't know i was 63 I'd probably be telling everybody I was 32. And that's kind of where you want to be. The stronger you are, uh, the, the better your prospects are for a healthy aging. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean you'll live to be 170 if you have a, you know, if you, if you deadlift 600 pounds, it doesn't mean you're going to live longer. But a healthy aging is what I'm talking about. Um, personally, I don't want to be uh, in a bed in the fetal position for 10 years of my life dying. I don't want that. Uh, I want to be a, I want to have a healthy aging process. As Rob Wolf says, I want to live long and drop dead. That's what I would like. Um, if the weight's not coming, there are people, uh, my friend, crazy Jerry from college, crazy Jerry couldn't put on weight to save his life, but he weight trained and he got very strong and it helped him in, in most aspects of life. You're an unusual person to write to me because you're the you're the guy who can eat what he wants, and he's worried about losing weight. Uh, that's that's pretty unusual. I would uh, put if I were you, I'd take my hands and give myself a big hug because you lucked out. So yeah, keep your strength up, keep training, and don't worry about the scale. 